Right, the road is open to walking, scootering, wheelchairs and bikes. So, how do people get through to park? And there used to be a bollard there, if someone's removed the bollard. Brilliant. I reckon the line's great. And I reckon, um, I reckon there's a lot that she didn't want to say, but a lot of the stuff that we know is going on, she knows is going on as well. And that matters, especially with all this stuff going on in schools, because it ain't right. Anyway, now I am genuinely going to drive to King's Heath and go see what's going on with these low traffic neighborhoods. Thank you very much everybody for watching that video. I think it's important that everybody has a fair platform and if the big established parties are spending big established money, then smaller candidates from smaller parties need to use what they've got at their disposal, which may well be YouTubers. I'm gonna email Andy Street and see if I can get him in the Volvo. Because that's only fair, isn't it? Right, thanks everybody, I'm off to King's Heath. Check that out on the right hand side though. It's a Chalman Escort. It's an Escort van with a high roof on a H reg. What on earth is that survivor doing still on the road? I'd love to know the story to that. Anyway, here we are, um, just about to come into King's Heath, so I thought I'd film it for you. Because uh, I said I would. And wow, listen to that. I don't know if that, the camera picked up the noise from that Escort. Obviously got half an exhaust pipe underneath there. What a crazy thing. Um, so, in towards King's Heath. Now, interestingly, we've got a 7.30 to 10 a.m. bus and taxi lane. It's not 7.30 or 10 a.m., so I can go in the bus lane. You see the signs there that say 7.30 to 10 a.m., but the problem is most people don't look at the sign. They just see bus lane and they go, oh, I'm not gonna drive in that. Now, further up here, there's gonna be a right turn. See now, interestingly, I've now gotta move over because I'm not going left. So, mate, you're always walking in the road, so we'll cross over here. Somewhere along here, there's gonna be a right turn, which I'm gonna to wanna to take to go to the church that I used to go to. But they've now made it a dead end. which is interesting. So, I'm very curious to see how the low traffic neighborhood actually works in Kings Heath. I mean, there's a coffee number one over there, which I don't recall from Kings Heath last time I was here. So maybe things have improved. Wow, I'm not quite sure what the chap in that C-Class was doing then. Police car outside. Peacocks. So it's going down. Another one there, look. Oh, there we go. Look, on the left. there so they've shut down your ability to go down that road this is my drop link my anti roll bar bush gently knocks away at the front of the car stop any here so. right, that one's a dead end open to walking, scootering, wheelchairs and bikes. So how do people get through to park? And there used to be a bollard there, if someone's removed the bollard. 
So we'll go through. Um, but this used to be a route that would get onto that main road. I suspect as we go along here, what's going to happen? No, no, there's another car coming through. Planning to close this road. What have we got on the left here? Then the, the left here looks to me like those bollards have been moved. They're all there's dead ends at the end of each of these streets. If I lived here, I'd be feeling pretty trapped by all this. said I think there used to be a bollard in the middle of the road there and it's been removed because this there was a sign that said dead end so they've all been uh oh no there's some more up here look right they've blocked this off this would be my route back to the main road now I think bollard there so that's closed so I can't get back to the main road that way so we'll try going left so if you live here that's added a whole load of time on your commute because you're trying to get out of the main road and it's meant that you're forced to join lots of other traffic because everybody else is trying to do the same thing. So we'll follow this taxi because he obviously knows where he's going to get to the main road. Or he doesn't. That's the other. Uh... Oh, he doesn't know where he's going. Oh, this is the same. Look, look. I want to get to the main road down here. So normally, I could go a little. Like I could go from that direction to Lidl, but I can't get through here because they've blocked the road. So there we go. Look, the road is only open to, so I can't go that way either. Um, and it's quite a fun game actually, because normally I'd use my sat nav, wouldn't I? But I'm filming on it, so let's see if I can actually get home having gone off the main road. And what's it achieved? What has it actually achieved? People of King's Heath, let me know what has been achieved by the low traffic neighborhood. Oh, that's a dead end, so I can't go down there. If we go back that way then. Maybe the taxi did know where he was going after all that. Right, there's a pole star just gone down there at speed. And I could tell by the way that person is now turning around, they don't know what they're doing either because they're now doing a three point turn to go back this way. <laughs> uh, right, so how can I get to the main road? Once you're trapped in this zone, and that's what it is, these low traffic neighborhoods are a way of zoning people. main road? That doesn't look like the main road to me. There it is. I can get out. I'm out. I'm free. I've escaped my zone. Wow. 
interesting. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I don't think I am going the right way. I don't think this is going where I want to be going. Oh, there's another one down there. Colmore Road, you know, I can't get through either. Should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look. Oh, for goodness sake, this is ridiculous. So you can't get through there either. People of King's Heath. Cordless angle grinders are available. So I can't go that way either. Which means I am gonna have to check my sat nav. Yeah, they've just zoned you off, that's what they've done, they've zoned you off. Right, let's check the sat nav. Right, I'm back on the main road, and I'll tell you something funny, that pole star that did a three point turn earlier is behind me. It's quite amusing, isn't it? So he's doing the same thing. And I'm now 54 minutes from my house and I need petrol and my car is getting hot. So, brilliant. Yeah, worked really well these, uh, all these new schemes that the government is implementing. Brilliant. Actually, there's a house there. I'm gonna pull over here because there's a sign in that window. Electric Tesco van look. Made in China. All right, that's interesting. There's a house there with a post in the window saying, we need clean air too. And I was wondering if that was um, to do with implementing the low traffic neighborhood, but it's not. It's an anti low traffic neighborhood poster because what they're saying is, we need clean air too, because all of the cars that were trying to use the roads that have now been blocked are using this road like I am now. So the poster calls for a rethink of the clean air zone. Absolutely. It's ridiculous. I mean, just the whole concept of, you've got to question the whole concept of a clean air zone and you've got to question it with everything. Absolutely everything. But right now, I need to use my sat nav because I now don't know how to get back to the main road. Oh, and the road that I'm going down is gonna be closed in April. So this has now become a main trunk road and they're closing this in April as well. Brilliant. Oh look, petrol station. Yep, I need some petrol. Oh, they got no, oh they have, they haven't got E5, we'll put a bit of E10 in. Um, as the king, I'm just reading the newspapers here, as the king opens the royal castle to the public, bum sniff beast is banned from Balmoral. Wow, what is the world coming to? <laughs> oh dear me. There you go, there's one on the front of that newspaper. New new build homeowners told to sign a non-disclosure agreement to see charges. Brilliant. Anyway, thanks for watching.